20 mile an hour limits, do they create more congestion or do they create less congestion? So TfL are out today, um, big announcement about 20 mile an hour limits, saying they're brilliant and they're going to have a lot more of them. And part of their argument is that uh, 20 mile an hour limits don't increase congestion. Now, that might seem illogical to you if you're a normal person, but technically the way they measure congestion, uh, it may actually be true. Let me explain, it's a, it's a slightly odd thing. So the technical way they measure congestion is they take a journey in the middle of the night, let's say it takes 10 minutes to drive from A to B, and then they take the same journey, A to B at peak times, let's say it takes 15 minutes. So the difference between 10 minutes and 15 minutes, you've spent five extra minutes when it was busy, so there's five minutes of congestion. Think about what happens if you lower the speed limit from 30 to 20. Your daytime journey, your peak time journey, probably is still the same 15 minutes. But overnight, what was 10 minutes maybe now takes 12. And so the congestion is now the difference between a 12 minute journey and a 15 minute journey. So there's only three minutes of congestion, even though no one's going any faster and the people overnight are going slower. They aggregate all of that up across London and then that's how they measure the total amount of congestion. And so weirdly, reducing the speed limits and slowing down traffic off peak actually makes the official figure for peak time congestion look better. This is, uh, this is an argument I've been having with the mayor now for quite some time, but that is how TfL are able to claim with a straight face that 20 mile an hour limits don't increase congestion. I'm Neil Garrett, follow me for more fresh thinking and common sense.